Thanks to Gray for those last few races, and it's time for a couple of classics now over in Ireland. It's the Irish Derby, first of all. The one and a half miles, of course. Group one for three on Cots and top Johnny Cash for Leon Van Rensburg, Lou Feng Privacy for Vinnie Gerard, Ozzy Anshan and Night King, both for Dan Hughes, Trapango Commodity for Darren Thompson, Hellfire Pistol and Of The Night Currency for David Robertson, the Major for David Hooley, See What You Want for Moon Ass and then Blushing Groom and Victory Bond for Martellino. Of course, Phillies are out in this in real life, but they're not in SO7. And they're all in ready to go. And away we go. Johnny Cash and Victory Bond were out quickest. The two greys down on this near, or two of the three greys, should I say, down on this near side. Victory Bond was in the lead, but now it's the third grey, Night King, who's gone on. Although, yep, that is Night King. Ozzy Anshan is the other one of Dan Hughes's. That's the one that isn't great. But the pace is not all that hot, it would seem, at the moment. Nothing seems all that keen to take on the mantle of being the front runner. And Victory Bond. He's currently in front from Ozzy Anshan, who's now gone past him. Then comes off the night currency in third with Johnny Cash tucked in on the inside in fourth. And a bit of a gap to Blushing Groom and Hellfire Pistols after that one. Trapango Commodity is the one that's widest on the track. And the back marker early on is Lufeng Privacy. But Ozzy Anshan is leading by about half a length to three quarters of a length to Victory Bond in second. Then Johnny Cash is clear third, then of the night currency is fourth, Blushing Groom is on the outside fifth, and the inside of that one is the major Trapango commodity, still running widest on the track. Night King, the second of the greys, has dropped back a little bit. Hellfire Pistol comes next with a grey on its inside, see what you want. And finally the two shades of green for Vinnie Gerard and Lufeng Privacy at the back but six furlongs to go in the Irish Derby and it's Ozzy Anshan who leads by a neck to Victory Bond on the inside gap of two three lengths then to Johnny Cash the pack beginning to close on that one with Blushing Groom now coming through into third Trapango Commodity on the outside is fourth that one seems to be going exceptionally well and is now cruising up towards the leaders then the Major is also now trying to get into it Night King switches around the outside four furlongs to go and it's wide open this one with Ozzy Anshan Victory Bond Trapango commodity then blushing groom and night king after that one of the night currency and the major johnny cash just caught a bit flat-footed now loofing privacy starts the motor from the back and inside the final three and it's still just ozzy anshan from victory bond up the center of the track night king now comes through to challenge then comes trapango commodity blushing groom is next loofing privacy now unleashing a run up the center of the track but it's dan hughes to the fore at the moment ozzy anshan and night king from victory bond running a massive race in third then comes victory comes loofing Privacy, Blushing Groom is after that one, but it's Night King and Ozzy Anshan battling it out the stable mates, and it's Night King who kicks on and goes on, Night King is in the lead, he's pulling clear Night King, Night King is going to take the Irish Derby, and Night King wins it, while in second place, Lufeng Privacy is going to be close for third, three of them in a line there, and all the way back to see what you want, who unfortunately for his trainer didn't see what he wanted because he saw his horse coming in last, but it's Dan Hughes who's almost becoming the new Paul Rhodes with these classics. Paul Rhodes missing this week from these classics. But Dan Hughes is starting to get himself a, a few of these under his belt. And Night King the winner for Dan Hughes. Loofing privacy for Vinnie Gerard. Run on one in the second. Of the night currency for David Robertson was third. Trapango commodity for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Victory Bond was fifth. <laughs>